Looks like Congress is to vote on a bill that would criminalise questioning the events surrounding 9-11 in US of A, the New York Post reports. With strong support from APAC and the ADL, Congress is set to vote on a bill that would criminalise any questioning of the events that took place during the September 11th attacks. This bill calls for fines up to $10,000 and five years imprisonment of anyone who questions or challenges the official narrative. The ADL states that this bill seeks to honour the memory of all those who died and quell the spread of harmful conspiracy theories. Well, folks, I guess the only reason why they're trying to stand up and do that to the people of the US of A now is because it's now officially over 20 years later. And I guess when they did do these things to the uh, World Trade Center, they never realized that 20 years later, the information age would bring so much more information to people's fingertips and the authorities at hand don't like it. Now, if they've got nothing to hide, why do they need to silence everybody? Question that, why do they need to silence everybody? Of course, because they weren't expecting such information to be out there 20 years later. That's because they didn't see it coming. They didn't see it coming. Society didn't see it coming. And here it is. And governments worldwide are squirming at the thought that any past history of historical events, evidence is there for people to scrutineer over and also bring to other people's attention and they simply do not like it. Well, I guess the facts are in, folks. Do your research. You can also see lots of videos out there explaining lots of things to do with this and the government don't like it. No wonder they're trying to criminalise it because they don't want you finding any evidence that might create some sort of avenue for people to go down like a rabbit hole of course they don't like rabbit holes and they like to try and make it so people should be kept quiet and another thing they don't like is channels like the hang loose recluse putting messages out there and all that they also get the support from youtube to try and shadow ban us so we can't be heard of course youtube is in bed with the government as the government and youtube are basically the government youtube is the government of youtube and the government is the government of the government if you know what I mean. That's right, we can't speak up, we can't say anything, we can't do anything, we have to say nothing, do nothing, sit still and read the mainstream newspapers. Anyway, I'll keep quiet on this matter, I just thought I'd bring it to your attention. This has been another Hang Loose Recluse production. Thank you! No, but wait, there's more. And news out of Scotland, from Corky here, heads up, Scottish First Minister Mr Humza Yusuf rumoured to be formally resigning today. He bought in a lot of woke, unnecessary and costly green stuff like Mr Albanese, the Prime Minister of of Australia, of course. He won't be missed when he goes. His nickname was Useless Yusuf for a reason. Foreign correspondent, Corky. Thank you, Corky, for that. That has been a fantastic update from our Scottish subscriber over there in Scotland. That's not how you make pottage. Okay, this has been another Hang Loose Recluse production. Thank you.